I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good afternoon, Warriors. I'm Michael. And I'm Lexi, and this is your Friday, September 5th edition of Warrior TV News. On today's broadcast, Warrior TV gets insight on girls in advanced physical conditioning. And we'll tune into what's going on with the 2014 WCHS band program. All this and more on today's feature edition of Warrior TV News. Don't hit the camera. Wyland Community High School's Advanced Physical Conditioning, or APC, class has past years had a roster consisting of more males than females, but this year's APC classes have a much stronger female presence. Maddie Dolan, McKenna Gold, and Madison Scott got the point of view from some strong girls who are taking on this new challenge. These students at Whiteland Community High School have started to take notice of the obvious increase in female participants in WCHS's Advanced Physical Conditioning Program. Warrior TV goes to Coach Smith and some of the girls in APC to get the inside scoop on the program and why they take APC. We don't just specifically focus on weightlifting only in class. I mean, we do everything from speed to agility to strength training, cone drills. Uh, we do some aerobic box jumps, plyometrics, um, medicine balls, weightlifting, obviously, bench squat clean. Um, but just a variety of things. I'm big on trying to mix things up and try and make it as fun as possible. So there's a lot of different stuff that takes place in class that's beneficial for not only the male, male athlete, but the female athlete as well. Now that Warrior TV has coached this insight on the APC course at WCHS, WTV goes to the girls currently enrolled in APC to get their take on the class. Well, freshman year, really sports required me to take APC, so ever since then I just stuck with it. it I mean, it. It's pretty beneficial playing sports and being an APC. Um, it's mandatory for basketball just to get better at my sport. Well, seventh period is my senior free period, and since I don't have APC because of AP classes, I chose to go in there and lift with the kids. I put APC on my schedule to get better at my sport and to get like more endurance out of stuff, like if I'm running and stuff. APC improves speed, agility, and quickness, and I am involved in track, so. I really need all those things to be able to excel in my sport. 
we lift every day and run every day, so that's helpful, and it's like getting in a workout in the off season. I play basketball, and it definitely helps. You get a lot stronger because it's a pretty physical game. Overall, like your physical fitness and athleticism. PC has made me better at my sport with all like the physical activity. If you like come up with some contact, it helps you be stronger and stay on your feet. I'm not self-conscious about lifting with the boys. It doesn't bother me at all. I have a really good group of kids that none of them are really judgmental, so. Not self-conscious when I'm lifting around the boys because I like competition and I like when I see like other people get more and stuff because I want to do that too. It doesn't bother me. It's just like going to workouts after school or over the summer or anything like that. I'm already uh, self-conscious lifting around the guys, but um, I can tell a lot of girls are. When I first took this job over five years ago, I thought that it was kind of started off slow that like our females might have been intimidated by the boys, but um, I'd say the last two or three years, you know, having a co-ed class has worked really well. Uh, I like the fact that it builds camaraderie, camaraderie in our athletic program and our athletes. So I wouldn't change it for the world. I like co-ed um, weightlifting classes, and um, I think it's best for our whole athletic program. The strength is not always an emphasis in girls' sports. Lady Warriors and APC look to shatter stereotypes with their hard work. If you are interested in signing up for APC, talk to your guidance counselor. From outside the weight room, I'm McKenna with Maddie S. and Maddie D. Warrior TV News. Hey, what are you doing this Saturday? Going to support the girls' golf team. Girls' golf will verse Bloomington South at 11 a.m. Hey, what are you guys doing this Saturday? I'm supporting the Warriors with the football team. Yeah, I'm going to the cross-country meet. Football freshman and JV will verse Decatur Central at 10 a.m. at home. Boys and girls cross country will be at Martinsville. Boys will be compete at 8.30 a.m. and girls will compete at 9 a.m. Hey, what are you doing this Saturday? Uh, I'm going to the soccer game this Saturday. Girls soccer, JV, and varsity will verse Southport. JV will be at 11.30 a.m. and varsity will be at 1.30. Hey, what are you doing this Saturday? Going to the tennis match. Boys tennis will be at the Franklin tournament at 9 a.m. Good luck to all the sports teams that are competing tomorrow. The Whiteland Community High School Band is a talented bunch of warriors who are looking to add more awards and hardware to their already impressive trophy case. Zach Whitaker, Jared Canary, and Olivia Rigney went in depth to showcase the time and hard work that the WCHS school band puts in. The WCHS band has been hard at work preparing for this upcoming competition season. Warrior TV News spoke with band members and directors about what to expect this year in band. Usually we make it to semi-state from Evansville um, and it's just a really great time. We have semi-state, regionals, well it's regionals and semi-state and then state and all the competitions are really fun because you get to meet all the other bands. I've been in band for three years of high school and then I've been in band for um, sixth grade through eighth grade. I've been doing band um, for all four years of high school and then sixth through eighth grade. I have played fl flute for five years and this is my first year being drum major. Um, band camp's a lot of fun. It just takes a lot of time. That's the problem. But it's definitely worth it. 12 hours a day. You get sick of the people, but it's definitely fun. Band camp. It's really hot because it's during the summer. It's in July. But it's a lot of fun because you get to be with all your friends. After speaking with some of the WCHS band members about their experiences, Warrior TV got the chance to speak with the WCHS band directors to get their instrument of view about the upcoming competitions. A typical band practice is very, very hard. Uh, what a lot of people don't realize is how much of a physical activity marching band is. Uh, it really does take a lot of muscle power, a lot of cardiovascular strength, and we spend time conditioning. We do a lot of fundamentals, we do laps around the field. My expectations for this year are really the same as every year, which is our goal is to get better every single performance. Uh, we are in kind of a subjective activity, and so when judges go and, and let you know their personal opinion, sometimes you don't have control over that, but what we do have control over is being better every time we perform. The WCHS band has been hard at work preparing for their upcoming competition season. Make sure you come support your fellow band warriors in their next performances at the Whiteland Home Football Game next Friday night. From outside the band room, I'm Jared, here with Zach and Olivia, Warrior TV News. Habitat for Humanity is a community that unites people in need to provide the life-changing opportunity to purchase and own simple, quality, and affordable homes. In February, one of our ceramics classes here at WCHS will be creating bowls and sending them off to an event called the Johnson County Habitat for Humanity Soup Bowl Auction. If you would like to be more involved, please see Ms. Tishner. 
And that's all we have for you on this feature edition of Warrior TV News. Until next time, have a good one. Here comes the, here comes the, here comes the, fear the deer.